clip that. All right, yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Spinified Podcast. Today we're actually on an episode. Back the mic up. <laughs> Give me some that boy. Today we're actually on episode number nineteen. I'm here with my boy Big G. Hello. Yo, guys. No, I'm actually having Gibbs on for an episode. I don't know why. It's just because there comes a time in your life Gibbs speak currently. Hello. In one year from now, that's gonna basically sound like hello. So I figured I'd have him on the podcast right now to talk about some stuff. My first question to you, Gibbs, why are those socks the move? I don't know. What are those socks? Why did you wake up and choose those? I don't know. My teacher gave them to me, and they just mean a lot to me. Did you actually? Yeah. What did you get? How did your teacher give them to you? <laughs> she said in class, you want some dinosaur socks? I'm like, sure. And then, like, the next day, she came to my resource, and she's you... like, she just gave them to me. <laughs> Do you want... Is there any particular reason why she picked you? No, I don't know. The... Show those to the camera again. They're like... Tur turquoise purple pink a lot of different colors going on there right, have you moved past your like sixth grade age because in sixth grade everyone dresses in the neon green and stuff yeah i don't wear that anymore have you moved on past that yeah it's mainly black now you just wear all nike pro products no. basically <laughs> nike elites <laughs> not that sweaty big g I'm, I'm gonna call him big g his name is gibbs we call him gibbs but for right now we're calling him gibbs i'm looking at this podcast a couple of years from now you're gonna be looking back on this and laughing First of all, because how unprofessional it is, because we're just here. I don't know how interesting this is going to be, guys, but I'm just here to pick Gibby's brain. We'll see what he thinks about stuff. Mm. What sports are you interested in? What sports? Basketball, that's about it. What about track? I mean, I mean, if I got good at it, I think it'd be pretty fun, but I'm not. Because then you I started think. track last year and then it did. Yeah, then COVID hit and then I couldn't do it. I mean, we got like a week of practice in, though. Did you like practices? <laughs> I mean, they weren't awful, but I was dying. Cause I mean, from my experiences, track practices were about the worst part. But like, how much did how like how much running did you do? I don't know. We just basically ran around the school and I don't know around town. That's about it. Did you were you like four hundred meters, eight hundred meters? What was your distance? Eight hundred mile. I was gonna try for, but I don't know. I think okay. Let's set, okay. Let's set some goals for your track for again. I'm assuming you're gonna go out for track. It's just something the whole family's done. It's something you're gonna have to do, right? I mean, golf's fun too, but I mean. You want to be a golfer? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, but... you just want to be a golfer because then you don't have to try. Yeah, true, true. That's the only reason. <laughs> yeah. But true. I think it, I think you'd better yourself more if you went out for track. Yeah. So, 400, 800 meters, is that, you think that's going to be the 800 end? mile, that's about it. The 800 of the mile. Okay, here's where I was. In 8th grade, I ran a 2 minute and 45 second 800. No, that was 6th grade. That was 6th grade. Where do you think you'll be? <laughs> uh, probably Sam. Maybe. Maybe a little quicker. So you're, he's in his 8th grade year right now. He wants your first 800. You want to run a 245. That's that's your goal? Oh, yeah. I'll just be honest with you. That's pretty slow. Yeah, I know. I thought. Isn't, isn't a, um, state like two minutes? State's like like 203 or something from North Dakota. <laughs> which by the way, 203 is pretty quick. But I hear from other states that's not very impressive. But for our state, from our North Dakota, in order to get to state track, you have to run a 203 in the 800, which is still pretty quick. But yeah, I'm aiming for a 6-minute mile. <laughs> a 6-minute mile? Honestly, I guess that's not a terrible place to start. I think... Let's see, you're in 8th grade. My, in 8th grade, my best mile was a 5.16, so that's pretty... Okay, okay, we're even for 5.15. That's pretty decent. It's pretty embarrassing, honestly, though, because I literally ran my best mile in 8th grade, and I haven't got better since then, I so... Mean, what's qualifying? 4.40, ain't it? Yeah, so qualifying for state in the mile is literally 4 minutes and 40 seconds. In 8th grade, I ran a 5 minutes 16, and since then, I've literally just went all downhill. Which is crazy to think, because right now, I'm literally like a senior. I'm way bigger than Gibbs. But when I was in 8th grade, I was literally like his size, and I ran a, my fastest mile ever, which is pretty embarrassing when you think about it, because I obviously should be, should be getting better. <laughs> but uh, I guess I'm going to encourage you I'm gonna encourage you to hit the weight room more, because that's one of the regrets I kind of had, so I'm going to make you get in the weight room this summer. We're going to make Gibbs a better athlete than I ever was, because he's going to fix the mistakes I didn't do. <laughs> and uh, so your six-minute mile, we're going to go with. Mm, sure, yeah. About and a 245. How about what, what happens if you run a 400? What, what do you think you can run a 400 meter? What do you call by, like 50? <laughs> Like 52. <laughs> a minute 30. That's what you A minute 30 gives. A minute 15. If you guys don't know, okay, probably a lot of people don't know much about track and field. That is literally one lap around the track. You want to run that in a minute and 30. That's, that's honestly terrible. Okay, one. Ten. One, ten. That's fair. 70 seconds. That's about as fast as I can. That's about as fast as I've like ever ran. And honestly, maybe I might have ran like a 65 before, but that's 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 very, I'm, I'm slow. I'm a very slow person, honestly. Same. I'm pretty slow too. Okay, we, we got the track goals set. Your other sport, basketball. Are you going to continue in that? Yeah, I'll probably throw out the whole, my whole high school career because it basically just runs through a family. Grandpa, yeah. dad, brother, other brother. If, if you guys don't know, our mom, our mom has basically made the decision up for us already. We have to play basketball. Basketball runs in the family. She says for other sports, you get to pick what you want to do, but when it comes to basketball, you have to there, play basketball. There's no choice. There's literally no choice. So 
basketball. How good do you think you guys are going to be? Let's picture you're a junior right now watching this podcast, listening back, laughing at how, first of all, how deep your voice is as compared to oh. now. Yeah, let's sound like that. But uh, what do you, how good do you think you guys will be? I mean, I don't know. We won't have much height. I mean, maybe we will. We might have some people coming up, but I don't really know. I mean, you guys you guys have two, like, six-foot tall kids for, for eighth grade, which isn't bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, we have a kid that can almost dunk, so. Exactly. But usually, sometimes those kids just stop growing and everyone else catches up. But I think they might keep growing. So you guys should have the height down. Maybe. Uh, if they stay with it, which I think they will, in, in eligibility. Are you guys going to? Oh, yeah. <laughs> grades. They have to have good grades. That's their first problem. Is one of them ineligible right now? No, but they're like a 62, so. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to ever have problems with grades? I mean, my, probably not, but <laughs> I might. <laughs> what, cl- what class would be your hardest? Probably math or science or reading. <laughs> <laughs> All of them? <laughs> probably reading the man. That's probably my worst grade right now. Why, why do you not like reading? What's the hardest part of reading? Vocabulary. i got to study 15 words every two weeks. <laughs> 15 words every two weeks, kids. That's but, you not... keep, but you keep adding on. So we're at like 130 words since the beginning of the, of the year. So... Honestly, see, with me, memorization is always something easy. Do you memorize things well? No. <laughs> you I, just get, I think with you, you kind of just get more distracted. And I, when I try to memorize things, I just go get it done. But you... Yeah, I get a little sidetracked a little bit sometimes. But you think reading will be your hardest? Yeah. All I can tell you right now is just enjoy the math that you have right now because literally my math class, it's all, it's like literally all letters. There's no more numbers. It's just equations and letters. It, like, it makes no sense. You you wouldn't understand. <laughs> I probably but, wouldn't. But uh, enjoy your, your little algebra nonsense. That I, I'm not stuff. in algebra. You're not even in algebra yet? No, there's only four people in our class who are in algebra. What's your, uh, what's your class called? Just like math eight? Yeah, math eight A. What are, we, what are you learning how to do right now? Ooh, I don't know. We don't started, know. We, started on, we started on the topic. I forgot. Yeah, that happens. I don't know what I'm learning in half of my classes anyways. Are you going to Are you gonna pursue your football career? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's out of there. I think football is just that sport that me and him, like, neither of us enjoyed it because we don't really have that aggression side of us to go, like, destroy some dudes. But it's just kind of that sport that we kind of felt forced to play because our friends all played it and it was just popular amongst, like, the old guys and stuff. They just pressure you to play it. But uh, did you wait? What, did you play football at seventh Fourth, grade? Seventh grade no. was your last year. Uh, sixth grade. You didn't go out seventh grade. Has <laughs> no. it been two years since you went out? Yeah. Because he he literally used to be the starting quarterback. So that's cap. Actually, no. Yeah, you I were. Did sixth grade year. Yeah, that's about it. Because I ran the clock and I, I I would watch you. <laughs> Our starting quarterback quit. Look at that commitment. No, that's sorry. If you don't like the sport, that's fine. Yeah, well, we got, they got a new quarterback that's like six foot. One of my basketball players, he plays. Is he's he? just huge. He's huge, yeah. I mean, I guess height and stuff isn't everything. It's kind of about IQ and keeping the grades up as we recently spoke. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, so wait. Are you guys going to have a winning record in basketball right now? It's your well, junior year. You're watching so this. so far we are 7-2. and two, So I, and we only have four games left, and I think we're going to win most of them. So right now in junior high, they're doing good. <laughs> but once you get to high school... Predict your record. Say you play twenty games. How many of those games will you win? In JV or no? Nope. You'll be you'll be on varsity when you're a junior. I don't twenty know. games. What's your record gonna be? Predict that right now. Thirteen and seven. Thirteen and seven. That's I guess that's fair. Will you win the cowbell? I'll explain the cowbell. Basically, you guys don't know the cowbell is this big basketball game between us and a, and a rival town that's like thirty minutes away. It's 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 a tradition that's went on for like seventy five years, and our our town basically hasn't won this game in Ten like. Years. In like t- it's gonna be ten years here. It's been nine years now, but will you win this big basketball game that occurs every year that our town hasn't won in nine years? <laughs> well, they have a six seven guy, but he's gonna be gone. So and they got him and about a good three point shooter. By the time I get there, he'll be gone. He'll be and gone. we play them and we beat him about like thirty. Yeah. And yeah. So the town at his level, they're terrible. This town that we have to beat, we play for a cowbell, and it has both the school's logos on each side. We haven't had it in nine years, obviously. North Dakota. He could be the first class to bring it to our to our um, to our town in like literally a decade. And we were we were at the we were at the diner today, and like the old folks around this town, they really get into this game. One of the waitresses told us that they were literally the old guys. They were gossiping at the at the breakfast table or whatever at the diner. Screaming, just saying what they liked about how we played, because we recently played this cowbell game and we lost again for like the ninth year in a row. And like the old guys around here really get into these sports, so it's kind of a big deal. So Gibbs, you better bring that bell home, honestly. I'll try. No one of the family has even touched it yet. So. <laughs> no one of the fa- I think our grandpa said he won it twice. Our grandpa said he won it twice. Did he really? Yep. He said that. I can't even say that. It's I didn't that even. That old. Jeez. Yeah, seventy-five years. Well, how old do you think Grandpa is? <laughs> you years. think he was in high school seventy-five years ago? I guess. Yeah, true, true. Ah, big G. Yes. 
So, are you guys making state in basketball? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that's kind of, okay, the thing is with basketball, that's a hard sport to make state in because you have to win a bunch of games. A lot of people in wrestling make state because there's like 50 million different weight categories and like the top like three or four go to state or something like that. I don't know how it works. But on track. Track, it's kind of hard to go to state track, I guess. Well, yeah, it, yeah, kind top of. three at regions. Yeah, true. It's not the hardest. But basketball is something else. It's definitely difficult, but... Again, our, our town kind of sucks at basketball. We haven't been to state in a long time either. Gibbs. Well, we made it to regions last year. That was close. Oh, yeah. That's a five-year dry spell. It's, or did we not make it to regions in five years? <laughs> no. Regionals is the step before state. It's not that hard to get to regionals. You just have to get out of districts. But we got out of districts. There's a chance Gibbs might do it. Maybe. Big G. There's a big game happening today. Football. NFL. Do you Chiefs. Ca- Chiefs. I, got the I was going to ask you first, do you care at all about who wins? I don't, but I just want the Chiefs to win. I want Patrick Mahomes to go two years in a row. And I just want Tom Brady to retire. So you're a bandwagon fan? Yeah, a little bit. Who's your favorite NFL team? Uh, the Chiefs. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite NFL team six years ago when the Broncos won? Probably. Okay, hold on. You can't say <laughs> the Broncos won because our whole family was a Broncos fan. And but everyone I meet is just my mom, so... Yeah, our mom is a crazy Denver Broncos fan. You know, she's met John Elway a couple times. Got all the merchandise. Oh, yeah, a signed autograph. Got a signed card. autograph. Just a big John Elway fan. I don't know how many people know much about sports here, but it's 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 a big deal around here being a Broncos fan. And now apparently you're a Chiefs fan. <laughs> well, wow. I'm saying I don't care who wins, but yeah, I want the Chiefs to win. All right, fair enough. And why, why don't you like Tom Brady? Because he wins too much. Yeah, I just want him to be gone. So then there's actually a chance for someone else to get in the Super Bowl. <laughs> It's actually crazy how he's managed to carry, like, two teams now. His first year with Tampa, he started carrying there, them. There was a stat that said that Tom Brady has a better chance to make it to the Super Bowl and Seth Curry yeah. hitting a three. Well, yeah, I guess. I saw that. <laughs> Not the best logic there, but it makes sense. Yeah. Who's your favorite NBA team? I don't even know. The, the Golden Hornets. State, the Golden no. State Warriors. No, <laughs> the Hornets. The Hornets? Because <laughs> <laughs> LaMelo Ball? Oh, yeah. Lamella he, Ball's he's the, my inspiration. He's your inspiration in basketball? Why, why do you like... Do you I even, don't know. You don't even have any big baller brand merch. I, I mean, you did, but I, I did. inherited that, so it's mine now. What do you like about Lamella Ball's basketball game? I don't know. He's just good. Where do you see him Where do you see him in four years when you're looking back at this podcast? What do you think he's going to be doing? Probably still playing is basketball. He gonna be, is he going to be washed up or is he going to be winning championships? Yeah, probably winning championships. You think he'll still be with the Hornets? <laughs> I don't know, maybe, unless LeVar Ball has a big, big fit. <laughs> LeVar Ball. <laughs> what do you think about He's the... better than Michael Jordan. <laughs> He's better than Michael Jordan. Better than Steph Curry. What do, you, what do you think about the Big Baller brand? Oh, I died, didn't it? The Big Baller brand is the merchandise for, like, LaMelo Ball's, the merchandise brand Good that his dad family. made. He's kind of a crazy dad. <laughs> did, you know, so I, he didn't didn't get it any. die out? I think it might have died out. But, I, did, did you still have my shirt? I haven't seen the wild one pretty sure. I, I did buy some big baller brand merch. I don't know what happened to that though. I'm pretty sure I have a stay in the old lane. Stay in the old lane. <laughs> you should, oh, wait, man, I haven't seen that in a long time. You should wear that sometime. It's better than these socks. No, nah, those socks are hype. Yeah, I know. I, okay, wait. I, so your teacher just walked up to you and they were like, You want dinosaur socks? Or what? Yeah, she's in class. I was just sitting in English class and she's like, You want dinosaur socks? I'm like, Yeah, sure. Next day later. <laughs> what does that mean? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Why? Okay. Because she said she's going to Walmart the next day. And she did she get, did she ask everyone else for socks? No, just me. And the next day in uh intervention or resource, whatever you want to call it, um, I was sitting there and she and she comes out with a pair of socks and she just throws them at me and says, "There you go." <laughs> did she ask anyone else if they want socks? <laughs> nope, just me. Well, you must be the favorite then. What's your grade in that class? Like a ninety. That's not bad. What do you think? Okay, what do you think about your grades growing up? When you, as your junior classes are going to get harder. I don't think they're going to stay well, but I don't know. Like, what? What are your goals? All A's, all A's, all and B's? A's and B's. Try and go for no C's. Is that your goal right now? All A's and B's. Yeah, that's what I'm setting myself at. Is that tough? Or... Yeah, no, it's just reading that stuff. I'm at a seventy-eight or something like that. Because because our teachers make us read what one book a month. Oh, it's awful. I don't even read. <laughs> it's painful. Reading okay, is... Look, okay, for January AR, I read two-thirds of a book in about 19 Quizlets, and I still managed to get a 90 on the test. <laughs> I mean, 90's not terrible. Yeah. Yeah, our teachers... 
I don't know. I feel like reading is something that's actually really useful, but a lot of people don't do it. It's you have to find the right book. Like what what yeah, what type of book? What type of book? I don't know. Like? Series of unfortunate events are good. Like sports books, those are all good. That would be good. I hear they released a new one. But like, are you reading like a novel in class or something? No. Because <laughs> when I was your age, I think I was reading like all the Holocaust books, which are kind of interesting and stuff, and like all the novels. Yeah. Um. Has your teacher ever made you just read like a really stupid book that you didn't like? I said it was great. We had to read like a, uh, kind of like a moral, uh, what do you want to call that? That's a, I don't know, some moral, like just something that you weren't interested in at all. Yeah, pretty much like every day. What do you think about, what do you think about writing essays? Oh, awful. <laughs> I hate them. I just had to write one too. What was it on? I don't know, my reflection of what my poster. What'd you make a poster on? Golf. I said my problem was I'm not very good at hating the drives. <laughs> That's accurate. Yeah, or putting. I know what your problem is with golf. Okay, first of all, people watching, I don't know if anyone's watching, but on our Discord server, people tend to make fun of golf. Gibbs, what do you think about golf? They, they it's hate actually, it. It's actually, like, so much fun. Exactly. You gotta try it. Like, it's just That's a chill sport. You don't need to go, you don't need to sweat or anything. You just gotta... You don't need to sweat. It's, yeah, okay, here's my... It's relaxing. You got a new course every time, which is nice. It, it doesn't take a whole lot of concent. I mean, it does take some concentration if you want to sweat. But you can just yeah. go out there, have a fun time with the boys. Because the thing is, me and Gibbs, we're going to be golfing 50 years from now. We'll be out there hitting the course still. Are we able? To, are we going to be able to play basketball in 50 years? No, but we'll still be golfing. <laughs> Probably not. But we're still golfing, yeah. I know your problem with golf. My form. <laughs> <laughs> that too. No, you get you get frustrated too easily. Yeah, true, true. That's your goal. I do. And then just you just dumb. give up. Hey, not always. Sometimes, now always, sometimes, always. <laughs> sometimes I hit just dingers in the park. That is true, but that's when you're focusing and you're just feeling it. Yeah, true. Would you say? Would you say that's a problem that you have with a lot of things getting frustrated too easily, or like schoolwork? No, work? no, I don't get frustrated really at school. You just don't try. <laughs> no, it's not it. I try some. Like but, if, okay. it, if 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 the assignments are interesting, do you try? <laughs> no. But I mean, if it's like someone interesting, something I'm actually interested in, then I'll try to look like stuff up and. Like, have you ever written an essay that you enjoy? <laughs> no, actually, <laughs> yes. In sixth grade, I wrote an essay on Michael Jackson. He's like my main artist back in those times. Main artist back in those days. I could respect that. What was it? Just on like a like his life. We had, I, we had we had to make up a story of something, and um, I think I met it on like stones, like because that's when the Infinity Ward came out. Oh, the Infinity Stone. And I said there was like a music stone, and like the people took it from MJ's. It's honestly castle. pretty creative. <laughs> something like that. That's on. Is that like the best? Is that the best essay? Oh, I'm gonna grab my computer and charge it quick. Is that like the best essay you've ever written? Probably. Hold on, give me a sec. The most enjoyable one, anyway. Yeah, probably because I wrote, I wrote, I wrote like three paragraphs in ten minutes, so I must have enjoyed it. Yeah, definitely. Because like once you enjoy something, <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty professional. But I'm just because like once you enjoy something, it just flows a lot easier, a lot more naturally. Yeah, true. Yep. So, How goes that like? <laughs> so obviously, if you found a topic that you enjoy, like writing about Michael Jackson and his music, which which obviously I would recommend everybody because. That's good stuff. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think about modern music, Gibbs? What do you think no, about it's that? Not awful, but I wouldn't say it's good. Like I just think it's lacking soul. Like what? What? Like what artists do you listen to? What artists do you like? I don't know. I can really listen to anything. That's decent. Like yeah, like pop. That's like my main. Pop is your main. How about uh? How about you want to talk about your your favorite rapper, underrated YouTuber? I don't know. Come on, bring it up. Jack slash the lonely mailbox. Bring up the whole history. He makes some heat. Yeah, so if you guys don't know, the zombies community, Call of Duty zombies community, there was this guy who was a part of the community for a long time. <laughs> and he, he left the community, now he's a rapper, and Gibbs really appreciates his music. He's good. He's got like five songs. They're they're decent. It's not bad, but he just, like, Gibbs just adores it. Yeah, I do. He just loves it. They're just bangers. They just get you going. <laughs> they get him going. What? What events do you need to get going for? Do you listen to music when you're gaming and stuff? Yeah, yeah sometimes. I'm just sick and tired of Warzone. I'm just listening to that. <laughs> I'm just done. It happens. Do you... Is Warzone better than Fortnite? I don't know. It depends. If 2017 slash 18 Fortnite had a chance, but like yeah. nowadays, probably. When was the last time you played Fortnite? <laughs> like two months ago, probably. Are you a toxic Fortnite kid? No, I don't talk in chat. No one ever wanted to play with me. I wonder why. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're toxic? No, because I play Fortnite. Oh, yeah, that is pretty cringe. Do you, do you think the Fortnite community is pretty cringe? Yeah, kind of. A little sweaty, too. Community kind of ruined that game, if I'm honest. What do you think about the modern Call of Duty? The modern Cold Call of War? Duty? 
the Call of Duty community, are they are they even like? I don't know. Everyone would just leave, and I think like any YouTubers. Like, do you watch any Call of Duty YouTubers anymore? It's just basically <laughs> Mr. T Lux play. That's about it. Yeah. Sometimes. Because like no the, J. the thing is, back when I was your age, back when I was your age. Oh, okay, old timer. <laughs> um, like I had like ten YouTubers to go to, like Van Os, Smith plays Syndicate, all those OG guys. And now here you are, you modern kids now. It's, oh, it's, okay. It's sad to see what you guys got to grow up with. All you have is Mr. T. Um, have, <laughs> have you played the new Zombies map? No, no, I haven't played it yet. I uh, don't know. Do you plan I, on doing that? I, I ask my friends every night, do you want to play the new Cold War? Like, no. No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> so They I, play the game called Ark Survival. I guess that game is like a complete grind. Is it like, are, are you into games where you have to sweat and try really hard? Or do you no, just like the relaxing? No. Yeah, it gives your cap in. I, yeah. I played Fortnite with you. Okay, we're not counting for. I haven't played yeah. Fortnite now in two months. I played, yeah. The, when we played a couple months ago, he would, you would get so mad. Yeah, because it's Fortnite and I would get mad. He would be sweating. I could hear his keyboard sounding just like that, cranking yeah, 90s. Yeah, his keyboards are loud. It, they don't have to be loud <laughs> if you don't sweat so hard. And then I'd kill you and you'd get so upset. But then if you killed me, I'd get upset too. So it kind of goes yeah, both yeah, ways. Yeah, you'd complain. At the end of the day, everyone sweats Fortnite nowadays. Do you think that's what ruined the game? Just the sweats? No, that and the community. The community got cringe, like all the emotes and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> TikToks. All the TikTok dances. That th- was just dumb. What do you think about TikTok? Because there's on my Discord, there's a large community of people who hate TikTok. You think TikTok's funny? Yeah, I mean, it's alright. You gotta give them a right spot, though. Some of the, it's just dumb, but the, some of it's good. The right for you page? Yeah. Because basically my entire Discord just says it's cringe. Yeah, like you said, like I said, yeah, you're in the right spot. Like some of it's just awful. What, cringe. what percentage of it is cringe and what percentage is funny? Is it like 50% cringe, 50% funny? Or is like it... 70% cringe, 30% <laughs> it's good. 30% of it's good? Okay, that's Court fair. In my core, you I can see it. There is a lot of cringe on TikTok because it's obviously a bunch of people who are just doing cringy dances and trends hoping that they go viral for easy easy clout. Yeah, they don't and, have any. And they don't really have any talent, do they? Yeah, like Charlie D'Amelio. Oh, did, do any of the big TikTokers have actual talent? <laughs> no. <laughs> do you, what's, who's your favorite TikToker? Do you have any? I don't know. I watch a few that like. Nah, never mind. Nah, I don't. Yeah, none. I don't How really about? Watch, I just watch a lot of the for you page. Yeah. Did we go over favorite YouTuber? Is that just Mr. T still? I don't. Know, I don't. Really, I don't. Know, I, watch, I watch a lot of people on YouTube. I don't really know. I guess. Poof, poofesser, poofesser. I, don't, I don't watch him anymore. He's so funny though. <laughs> is uh, let's see. Who's the funniest? Is he? Is he one of the funnier ones? Oh yeah, he's funny. Is we sports. Cooper's Wii Sports. Sports. All right, Gibbs, we're going to get... Are you OG? Because G- Gibbs is a 2006 kid. I'm thinking everyone born past 2003 is an OG, but he keeps making the case he's OG. He experienced all the, all the like, Wii Sports, that would, time of living, but I don't I know, would, Gibbs. I would literally sit right next to him and my other brother, just older brother, and just watch him play Call of Duty all day. Yeah, but you never played. You were not a part of the OG I, community. I played, but I wasn't good. I just played multiplayer. I think you barely played. You weren't interested in it. You didn't follow the storyline. You didn't do any of that. And like, Yeah, true. I did, just played. Did you even play Wii Sports? Yeah. Nah, not really. What, what's, what's, the, what's your best sport in Wii Sports? <laughs> I did roll 300 in Wii Sports. He bowled a 300. So maybe bowling. You could pursue bowling. Mm, in real life, You no. know what they say. Wii Sports sports are better than actual sports. So oh, I believe that. Go. I believe that. But baseball, that game is so much fun. You think so? You ever hit any dingers? <laughs> no, I'm so bad at it, though. Did you ever play baseball in real life? Didn't you play t-ball? Okay, my story with baseball is in, like, the first year you could go out for it. I would always go to the practices, but I was always too scared to <laughs> step up there. I do remember that now. I was afraid I was going to get hit by the ball. <laughs> so <laughs> I would just sit with my parents on the other side of the fence and just watch. I do remember that now. Yeah, we used to take you to t-ball practice, and then and you then, would just, like, start crying. And then um, my last time I uh, went out for t-ball, it was, like, the last game there. I'm like, okay, I'm going to play. My friend's like, okay, you can do it. And then I didn't play, and they're like, okay, we're done. We <laughs> just left. <laughs> well, there goes that sport. We have a couple people who like baseball, but that, 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 that's his. I can see it. Baseball looks really fun if you're good at it. Yeah, I feel like it would be more fun to play than watch. Have you ever watched a baseball game? <laughs> no. Yeah, I mean, yeah, boring. a little bit. A little, like, hometown stuff, but, you know, mm-hmm. it's kind of boring. But How about your uh, how about your wrestling career? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you remember that? Oh, I do remember that. That was fun. Okay, let that. I only would play like one tournament, and <laughs> I was pinned on my stomach. I was going like, "Let me go!" <laughs> and and then I got pinned, and I started crying, yep. and I ran to my mom. There it is. Yep. As you can see, not the most aggressive person, but that's all right, because you make up for it on the basketball court, obviously. Um, oh, I've, yeah. Was, last night's game was frustrating. Oh yeah, last night's basketball game. Let's see. You guys were in the championship. Of a five-on-five tournament. How'd the the game go? Oh, I mean, I'm going to say it's a little rigged. The other team 
<laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, no, I'm not. The refs were <laughs> awful. They didn't call anything our way. And then, of course, our six-foot guy had, like, 150 pounds fouled out in the third quarter. And then they all had awful sportsmanship. They were like, bye, bye, get out of here, get him out of here. <laughs> they were here. saying, not a, hey, goodbye. They no, were they, saying that. They were like, bye, get him out of here. Yeah. And then one of the, play, then one of the grandpas on their team, <laughs> it must have been a Mr. Big Shot. His player must have been on the court as a Big Shot guy. He's like, so you got to know the rules. And my mom's like, well, yeah. okay, thank you. Yeah, you gotta love when the old. I love when the old people get into it at sporting events, like they in the just, crowd. Like, well, they think they know everything. They just start yelling, and the, the, the they're just yelling at the refs, and you know the refs about to give them a warning or tee them up or something. Yeah, they, do that. That's <laughs> hilarious. Would you? Would you? Wait, how much did you guys lose by yesterday? Like twenty. No, like fifteen. And you think you would have won if you would have kept the big guy? I mean, no, but they had like a two hundred pound guy, a six foot one guy, another six foot one guy, and we were just. And they're in eighth grade? Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing with junior high sports, like when it comes to boys especially. Like some of them are gonna be like five four yeah, we eighty have, pounds. We have, and... we have a player on my team who's like four foot yeah, eleven. Exactly. I feel bad for him. Yeah. And then the rest will be like six five, two eighty. <laughs> <laughs> we did play a guy that was had a complete stash right here. Yeah, that'll you know, happen. You know, you know, my teammates threw him to the ground on a jump ball, it was kinda of funny. Oh, did he have a deep voice? Yeah, he's like you know, my my friend kicked him in the head, he's like, Hey, don't kick my teammate. <laughs> We have a joke. I'm like, I'm going to go off to college here soon. Give Say Your Voice right now. Hey, what's up, guys? And then I'm going to come back in, in like a year. He'll be like, yo, what up? Oh, <laughs> I'm not going to talk to him for like five months. Then I come back and all of a sudden he's just got this really deep oh, voice. Lord. We'll see. You'll be surprised, Gibbs. In one year, you're probably going to grow like three inches and your voice is going to get a lot deeper. So I figured I'd record this podcast before your voice got deep because that'd be funny. <laughs> but uh, so we got basketball. You're, did you ever say if you're going to state? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I have to get pretty lucky, though. I mean, I don't luck. I mean, yeah, kind of, but... Lucky, I guess. It, it's hard to tell, but what do you think, as a player, how many points are you going to be averaging when you're a junior? How many points per game? 25. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Say, like, like, like 13, 10. That's about a good rate. 13, 10 to 13? I'm kidding. Yeah. You're kidding? All right, well, somewhere No, no, enough. I'm saying 10 to 13. I was 25. I was a joke. All right, all right. How about, how many, how many boards? How many rebounds? That's what it's all about. Like, no, no, I'm just going to be the outside shooter. I'm going to be an all-offensive guy. You're going to be, you're going to be the white guy that can just shoot? <laughs> That's kind of what I am. Yeah, we play. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Tall white guy that could just shoot and dribble. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, hey, you, you do get some boards. I do. I, I get a couple boards here and there, but not not all the time. Not last game. He was six seven, so that's not really fair. He was six seven. He wasn't that good though. He's dog water. He was a decoy. That's about it. He's a decoy. Yeah. So, ten ten to thirteen points. How many boards per game? Are we getting like five. Five six. Seven, five eight. six five eight. Okay. How about assists? Are you a team player? Are you like? Kobe? Oh yeah, I actually pass the ball a lot. Are you? Are you like okay? Because the one game I watched, it was a junior high. You were playing. You were playing Edgley, I think. And you were just you were just shucking it out of bounds, Gibbs. What was that all about? Do you get intimidated when you face people who are bigger than you? Oh no! Okay, I know what you mean. I know what you yeah, mean. I saw you just um, chucking it out of the bounds. Yeah, because the they're seats. like six foot, and they could like jump to the moon. So I had a really lofter up there, but sometimes I throw a little too hard and high. Yeah, definitely, because it, it would fly out of bounds. But we all make mistakes. How much? Did, how how nervous do you get before games? Would you say? I mean, like every game, I get a little butterflies in my stomach. I'm like, this team's bad, or this team's <laughs> good. <laughs> if they're really good, does it make you more nervous? Intimidate you more? <laughs> no, I'm just like, okay, we gotta step it up here a little bit. That's yeah, definitely. It. Because like, uh, oh yeah, then um, no, I took your screen there. Yeah, it's fine. But like, cause like the first game of the season, is that your most nervous? Is that when you're yeah, most nervous? Yeah, cause thing? you haven't played a game before. I don't know what you're expecting, but then. Cause I always feel like every season I'm gonna come back and I'm just gonna be trash. I'm just yeah, be same. That's what I, I just pray that no one, no one's gonna know what they're doing, like including me. And then you're gonna just, be terrible. Then you, you have the old guys yelling at you. <laughs> a big part of our community, if you're doing bad, the old guys are gonna be yelling at you on the sidelines and stuff. So you gotta be prepared for that. But I think I think you guys will be a solid team, and obviously you guys need to bring that cowbell home and win that game for the first time in like ten years because we're probably not going to win it next year. So we'll, that'll be ten years in a row. Actually, probably not. Yeah, the six seven guy. So yeah, for sure, lucky. for sure. All right, so we got all the sports out of the way. Big G. Yes. What are you? What are you? What are you thinking you're going to do with your life? What, what's your job going to be? Just computers. just right computers. Something with computers <laughs> and designing. What are your What are your interests right now? Computers. What do you like? What do you like doing at school? Are there any subjects that you like? Well, I'm out of eggs, so. Agriculture, whatever you want to call it, yeah. I don't see you being big into that. Like, obviously, our family's big into agriculture. We have 
we had, were hay farmers and stuff. We had cows, but like that's kind of our older brother's thing. Me and him were not really interested in the whole farming business. We're not good. We're not mechanically inclined. We can't fix stuff. Yeah, if it's you and me, it's just you got the call up. You got, you How many just... idiots does it take to fix the fix yeah. the engine and stuff? It's dumb. We can't so, figure it out. So not something agriculture related. Do you take like any classes that you like? <laughs> I mean, cooking classes actually a lot of fun. Oh yeah. Cook what's the, what's the best thing you have to cook lasagna? Yeah, it was actually good. A little burnt though. Still. Wait, how often do you have cooking class? Uh, Mondays and Wednesdays every week. That's for, is that like an hour? Or is that like two? It's an hour. It's an hour. That's should be two good. though. It should be. Yeah. It's quite how many hard. people fit in that kitchen? Because I've seen it. Do you get these? Like, like tw- 20, 15, 20 people 15, in that class. 15, so cooking that that's good life skills right there. How about? Uh, do you hate all? Because like you're at the age where you can't really pick the classes you want to take. You're getting next a, year. I that's think next I can. Year. I... Yeah. So, let's see, what okay, what are your classes right now? Math, Math English, uh, reading, uh, science. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, cooking and gym and choir. I'm dropping choir as soon as I can. <laughs> what what's, what's so hard about choir? It's just dumb. We just mess around the whole time. Yeah, that, I feel like that's every choir. Choir is just a mess around unless you like sign up for it. Like, the that, sweats? There's always those two like, people who are sweating, which respect to them. But... Yeah, I, I give them respect, but like... Like, I don't want to be there, so, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, yeah, you got to drop it. It's just a required class. In junior high, you don't get to pick your classes, but next year. What do you think, like, what do you think of classes next year? You're going to pick, like, a marketing, like, a... I was going to do food science. Entrepreneurship. People are telling people me to do that. People say food science is pretty good. I think, you, can you take that in ninth grade? That's I think, what, that's I think what someone else said in your grade. So, yeah, that'll be more of your cooking and stuff. Yeah. Are you going to pursue your, like, electronic stuff? They have, like, app making and stuff. Are you interested in that, or are you just, like, yeah. designing things? Or what do you I don't think know, like, yeah, pretty much, yeah. So more of like creating or designing or like creating probably coding. You want to like write code? Oh, is no. that gonna be <laughs> Isn't coding awful? I mean, it, it requires a lot of sitting at a screen and some problem solving. Oh, well, I mean, I do that already. So, <laughs> <laughs> would you want more of a job where you're just sitting down typing, or do you want something where you're out and about? I don't know. I couldn't really tell you. I feel like you'd be like more... hands on kind of with computers, mm-hmm. like building them and whatnot. Building PCs for people. Yeah, helping them out with that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, commute, like the Computer Express downtown. Yeah, we got to go over that place. We got a business here. Gibbs wants to help out at, I think, eventually, once you get older or something. Yeah, I might go work there. Yeah, that'd be pretty neat. Just sell a bunch of computer parts, cables, mm-hmm. printers, whatever. Yeah, you think you're just the PC master, everyone. Oh, I helped you build Remember that video? What video? You were in that video. Everyone was oh, like, oh, it's Gibbs. CPU cooler. Yeah, in my, uh, in my, I don't know, the, the fridge tour video, I think, where I did like a, I showed my PC parts. You were just going off and knowing everything yeah. about them. I was just a bot. So I think that could be pretty good for you. You're interested in that yeah, stuff. Yeah, you learned a lot, so. What's your, do you have any other interests besides computers, electronics, creating? I don't know. No. You're thinking like cooking, none of that. No, I'm no chef. I can't cook Jack. <laughs> you can cook a good lasagna, though. Yeah, pan uh, lasagna that takes like an hour to make. <laughs> How about like, you ever gonna like, maybe design like flyers for a business or like oh, make maybe. video? You ever gonna get into video making and stuff, or is that not you? Like video game design, like, like maybe, maybe. Like maybe like making video, like YouTube channel. Like, didn't you say you want to become a live streamer someday? <laughs> yeah. Or were yeah. you just be saying that? YouTuber. Be an editor for a YouTuber, that'd be lit. You want to be an editor now? I don't know, so much computer or something like that. Are you one of the better editors in your class? Hmm, I mean, I know how to edit. People just copy me. Hey, hey. I told them all about iMovie and this kid in the class that plays, I don't know, he's, too he's many stole, games. He stole all your ideas, yeah, this gamer. Yeah, he's just stealing all my stuff. He doesn't even know what PNG me is. Oh. So it's just a white, it's just awful. <laughs> what a rookie. He doesn't even know what PNG means. And it's just a boom and just, oh, it's awful. It's yeah. Like, oh, there's still white around it. The, the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even crop a photo. Yeah. Yeah, but for sure. Have you ever, let's see, how like how many videos have you made? How much editing experience do you have? I mean, I've had like three YouTube channels, but I've only really uploaded a lot to one of them. And my oldest YouTube video got 1.6k yeah, views. Yeah, I was in that one. I, <laughs> it was a t- I did most of the time. It was a Minecraft tutorial video. It was how to tame a horse. Yeah. I, I edited that video for you. That's why I got 1.6k. My 16. idea, though, my idea. No, I don't even give your idea, because I can't even <laughs> give you that. Oh, Mr. Pig. Hello. I literally, yeah, I literally can't even give you that, G. Yeah, I can all right, you want to evaluate as a person, what are your strengths, Big G? What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? Do you have good patience with people? Or... <laughs> no. I don't want to do anything with people. <laughs> <laughs> what? what do you mean by that? Like, I don't know. I don't want to talk to any of them. <laughs> so you're more of an introvert, antisocial person? Yeah, I don't want to talk to people if I have to. Do you get kind of anxious talking to people, a little nervous? No, I mean, if I know them. Like, if it's an old guy, I'm like, yeah, let's get this over with already. <laughs> Cause it's, well, that's kind of a part of life. Because usually they'll make, old people tend to make a lot of just jokes and stuff that you just, like, don't I'm really... like, okay. 
Mm -hmm. So I guess that's something you just you gotta just work gotta on. You just gotta nod your hand and say yep. That's yeah. that's what half of it is. You just gotta nod your hand and say <laughs> yep. I've I've been there, definitely. But like, so you're not very patient with people. I can be, but like I don't know. No. Are you? How about like how about your time management? Oh how, no, I don't get jacked on in class. <laughs> <laughs> like what what are you doing during your school time? What are you doing during class? Oh, uh, basically I listen. Now I just I want the teachers done talking. You no, know, we're supposed to do. I'm like, what do we do? Yeah. Right after she yeah, that teacher explains and no one knows what's going on and everyone has to ask. Yeah, what and the person behind me is like, "What are we doing?" I'm like, "I don't know." Then we got that smart chick that sits across then me, and I just ask. There's her always everything. the one kid that everyone goes to for answers. Yeah, in math, she carries. In she math, out, out. like, what do you guys? What do you guys? Do you have like com you guys have computers, right? Yeah. Do you guys also just spend time watching YouTube videos all day like we do? Or is that... <laughs> yeah, kind of. We just sit in the back class, but yeah, that's about it. Some boys go on their phones, put their phone up on their computer screens. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like if you give like our school is fortunate, every like they have enough money to give everyone a computer, so we all get like MacBooks, and I feel like that's it's cool. nice for getting these assignments done. But also, during, I have a couple online classes where they just show up on the big screen. I'm literally just on my computer the whole time, managing the Discord server, doing stuff like that. Yeah. Not being very productive, but so goes our whole generation. I think we could all have improvement on that. I yeah, could have improvement I on that. I agree, agree. You know, Big G, what? looking forward. What are you looking forward to the most? Like growing up, are you looking forward to driving, being able to go places? Oh, I'm going to be able to drive soon. How uh, much? How yeah, much? You guys have to wait until you're all 60, and I have to be 15. That yeah. sucks for you. Yeah, because a lot of people from around here, we just had a guy get his driver's license. I think he's like 16 in the Discord server. Let's go. From our state, it's pretty young because our biggest town only has like 120,000 people, so it's not terrible. <laughs> have you driven in that town? What's your biggest? Uh, how many uh, How many people are in the biggest town you've uh, driven? How many people live in Aberdeen? Like 12. Thousand maybe. <laughs> I said that. Oh yeah, I drove. You just you barely drove into the town. Though. I drove through the whole thing about yeah, let's talk and about, it was raining. Yeah, let's talk about your parking job today at the okay, diner. Okay, we do not need to talk about that. that was cool. Oh man, his parking job today at the diner was terrible. You know, yeah, you guys were all in, just yelling. You're supposed to pull in at a nice like little forty five degrees. <laughs> you came at like a awful were, angle. You were in there at about like ten degrees. It was just it was not good. G, you got to improve on that, but. You looking? Yeah. You looking forward to driver's ed this summer? No, I hear it's awful. <laughs> it is. I remember. But it's easy if you're if you study. Yeah, it is pretty easy. So basically, driver's ed is for what it was for me is I was locked inside for like school for like three days hours. straight from like eight to five or something like that. <laughs> that sounds awful. I think, and it was just sitting there. I don't even know what we were learning. It was it was terrible. It was really easy. Like we were like pushing people around on like scooters and stuff to like <laughs> mimic like mock like cars driving. It literally wasn't helpful at all. But what? it's a required class you have to take to get your driver's license. So it's just but, something. Um, but then you can drive forever and never. Yeah, I guess you have, have to renew it. So I guess it's just something everyone has to do. But I hope you enjoy that a lot, Big I hope you get better at driving. What's looking to your driving test? What's gonna be the scariest part? <laughs> parallel parking, hundred percent. You think so? That's what. That's a pretty common answer. Yo, tell me about your parallel parking story you told me today. <laughs> well, I guess for my driving test. I guess it's basically, all right, so yeah, she told me to parallel park. There's just one guy on the curb. There literally wasn't even anybody behind him. So I'm pulling into parallel park. There's a guy. There's a guy right here on the curb. There's nobody behind him. So I, can, I have all this room behind me. So usually there was a guy in the car too. He'd just expect me to pull up behind him. But she, but I had to parallel park. So we sitting here on the curb. I had to pull up next to him, and then I had to back into the curb just like that and then get behind him. And he's basically sitting in the car watching me do this, being confused. And then he stepped out and saw what was going on. He saw the instructor, and he saw that I was taking my driver's test, so he gave me a thumbs up. So he he was hyping me up, so that helped me out through my driver's test. But I did, I did pass my uh, my driver's test because there's a couple different tests you have to do. The permit test. Oh, which... I pa I barely passed that. North Dakota, you have to get 20 out of 25, and I got that exactly. I... And I was in the last question. It was 19 out of 24. Yeah. And I was just <laughs> dying. Do you remember what the what was like? How how tough were the questions? I don't even remember. They were pretty basic, but I just was not thinking that day. So. Like some of them are really stupid. They're like, how many feet behind? somebody do you have to like do some things and stuff <laughs> there's a pedestrian crossing the road what do you do well, yeah, a that, wait do b yeah. drive right through i guess that one's pretty easy but yeah i think one of mine showed me what a speed limit sign looks like so i mean some of them are really easy i, did, I didn't others. even have anything like that like, i just had them like yeah, yeah. I, I don't have any speed signs or but whatever then some other ones are just like the random like distances those small little details that no oh, one's gonna remember that was a question like, it was like, what's yeah. illegal to park in front of a stop sign? Or something yeah, like something like that. It's, it's, it's weird. Some of them are stupid. But yeah, we have, you have to get 20 out of 25. I failed my first one. Scrub. And then I had to go to a different town to take my second one. I barely passed it, I think. So I finally got that done. Beat my driver's test on the first go, though. Gibbs, you going to be able to do that? Yeah, probably. My friend think so. barely studied. It stayed up to like midnight the day before this test, and he still passed it. Study or did he take? Uh, yeah, I guess he took the permit. You already took the permit test, so you're good. Yeah, I got my permit. Yeah. But the driver's test, are you going to be prepared for that? 
if we have to drive my hometown, yeah. I, t- but no I tell you what, if you park like you did today, you're getting an F. That, uh-uh. was, that was terrible. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was awful. How, how good did you... Okay, here's one of the things I wish I would have done better. How, do, how good did you sign your name on your driver's license? Oh, it's awful. <laughs> it is so ugly. Because when I signed mine... Like, it, like, it's a big letter and then it just gets, like, tiny. Because <laughs> I started writing my name. She's like, sign this. I'm like, all right. So I started signing this. She's like, oh, you need your full name. And I already have my first name, like, taking up half, half the thing. I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> you got to so write in small letters. I got to go, like, renew my license or something so I can at least, or, like, sign it again or something. I just need to find a new way to sign my license because mine is terrible. <laughs> Yeah, so you're looking forward to getting your driver's license. Mm-hmm. Are you looking forward to the day you graduate, or do you want to s- stay young for a while and stop oh, growing I, up so quick? I don't know. I feel like staying young would be lit, but you got to grow up at some point. So Yeah, definitely. Are you... I'm going to miss all the homies here. <laughs> <laughs> all your homies that don't play games with you anymore? Yeah, I don't know. They just play ARK. Because they moved on to ARK, and that's cringe. Yeah, a lot of people play do you, it. Do you, what do, you, do you miss your elementary years? Yeah, I actually was thinking about that in school today. I'm like... Oh, I just missed sixth grade. Like, I was just dying. Much simpler times back when you could just make arts and crafts the whole time. No, just the teacher we had. Mm-hmm. An English teacher, but it was actually lit. Oh, yeah. Back in the day, you don't like... Who's your least favorite subject? What's your least favorite Choir teacher? Choir or math or <laughs> science or reading. <laughs> All of them? Right, how are you enjoying your junior high experience? Is it fun or is it just terrible? It's actually, like, not bad, but, like, the people around you just make it, like, 100% better. <laughs> <laughs> The teachers just the teachers. The just, teachers just kill it. <laughs> they just kill the vibe. Yeah, I can no see that. No laughing. Is junior high better than elementary, or would you rather go back to the uh, simpler days? I don't know. That's a hard one. I feel like junior high is better though, because you have like a little bit more freedom with your lunch and your time, because you can go wherever you want in the lunch time. Yeah. Even though you can't leave for school though, so. Are you looking forward to getting even more free time and driving home then eventually? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So our school's fortunate enough. Once you get old enough, you can literally just drive home throughout the day during all your free well, time. For you, but not for me in, in ninth grade. Yeah, but once there. you get there, because it keeps they keep. It used to be like fifth grade, you can go out and eat at like at <laughs> like the local C store and stuff. Oh, yeah, I mean, it was right across the road, so... Yeah, but now it's, like, Long ninth lost. grade. It's literally ninth grade now, but, man, it just shows you how much things are changing yeah, back in my day. <laughs> yeah, okay, like, you ever did that. Okay, boomer. No, I actually think I did go out and eat a couple times back in, like, fifth grade, because you just had to sign a note, and then they were just letting the fifth graders go walk across the street and stuff. Nothing wrong with that, but with now... No, with no supervision or what? Nope. But now we live in an age where you got to just monitor everything. People don't want to get sued. you got to be safe, so... Yeah, true, true. It's now ninth grade. Oh, so they probably did get sued, but that's probably why they had to change it. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Do you think, all right, so all the teachers in elementary school, I'd assume they were telling you, like, oh, junior high is going to be so tough, so <laughs> tough. I did. I swear, fifth grade has been my hardest year yet. I don't fifth know, grade? everyone says fifth grade's the hardest year. Mm-hmm. I agree, I agree. It's so, element, so junior high is nowhere near as hard as elementary. Well, no, it's harder, but, like, but it's not way as, more fun. Not as much as the teachers. The teachers are like, oh. Yeah, they over-exaggerated by, like, a long shot. They're like, oh, it's so tough. You're going to have to be managing your own time. Like, yeah. Like, it's so easy. It's gonna get so tough. You gotta be so <laughs> independent. And all of a sudden, you get there, it's just like the same thing, basically. Except, yeah, pretty much. Just different teachers and. Yeah, for sure. So you gotta adjust a little bit. But it, are they saying the same thing about high school too? They're just like, oh, high school's gonna be so tough. I haven't heard them say that in a while, but I'm sure you'll get there. Yeah, I say that. And like, she says that in math like every day. She's like, oh, you gotta know this stuff in ninth grade and algebra. <laughs> yeah. The teacher's gonna, he's gonna, you're gonna be far behind if you don't yeah. get it. I'm like, okay. Yeah. So like. I don't know. That's a thing everyone says. They say that about college too. I feel like that's just that they just do that. They say to, college is like really hard, but like I just hear that they, they, they just like do that fun. to scare you. It's a scare tactic just to make you get your work done. Honestly, probably. Mm-hmm. Should we go back to your to your strengths and weaknesses? So for our weaknesses, no. no, we got we got to evaluate you. Have you ever taken a personality test? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> okay, well, you should sometime. It basically just tells you what kind of personality you have, what you're interested in, and stuff. Yeah, All right, so I, for your week. I think there's something like that in school, but yeah, you'll I don't get there. You'll do. Counselor, don't. like I just don't. Does care. the counselor do anything? Yeah, he comes into our room sometimes. We have to take like, I don't know, our careers. I'm like, I do not care. I think I know where I'm going. <laughs> she walks in today. We're gonna be taking a career test. Yeah, Everybody. literally, it's at like every, it's like at every like once a month. I'm like, I do not care. Like, I don't think I need you to tell me I mean, where to go. I mean, I mean, she is pretty useful. She has guided me in the right direction, but like. She just walks in, everybody, we do not care. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, no, I mean, it's nice that we're using her time on us, but like... You just don't care. Yeah, just No, don't. she's actually a good counselor. She's definitely helped me out a lot, but I think you're just not quite there yet to care enough yeah, about like, your future. Yeah, like, I'm not like, I don't know why you tell them eighth graders that. Like, you're telling them best seniors. Like, yeah, are you even, are you even focusing on your future at all, or are you just, like, wait until you get there? I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm decided yet. In sixth grade, like, below, I want to be a mechanic, but I don't know if I want to do that <laughs> anymore. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, not very, I'm not very mechanically... Per- 
uh, inclined. Yeah, inclined, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that's it for you. But yeah, computer's interesting. Yeah. So your time management, how is it good, bad, or terrible? Or, uh, terrible. Okay, so time management's terrible. Your patience with people, is it terrible. decent? Terrible. Well, how about... Actually, I can wait for people, but like if it's just taking on so long, I just can't. <laughs> you just get mad at them? Yeah. Like, let's go. I don't see you as being the big talkative type during the class. Who's... Are you one of the... You, there's no way you talk a lot. Maybe. Mm. You one of the big talkers of the grade? Not big talkers. Like the gossip? I, I definitely oh, don't see I, you being I that. I am not the gossip. <laughs> no way. You just critique. You just hear the gossipers in the corner and you Yeah, just I just mock whatever we're usually doing. Fair enough. In choir especially. Decent. How, okay, how about some strengths? What are, what are some strengths yours, you? What, what do you, what do you I like? I don't know. What do you get at? I don't even know. Are you good at, like... Let's see... Are you good at, oh man, what, what are you good at? You I don't really know. I don't really know what I'm good at. I mean, you're, okay, so we go with like physical ability. You're, you're one of the better athletes of your grade, probably. Me, a little bit, yeah. Where's, where's that Where's that athletic ability come from? Is that just all natural? Did you work on that, or how would you get that, G? Probably genes, like most people. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, our, our whole family's kind of been just naturally athletic, what can Grandpa. we say? <laughs> yeah, like we like honestly, I feel like you're pretty good at like every sport you do. Honestly, that's just because yeah, that's what mom said. I'm like, no. Okay. I mean, yeah, because like, I think it's always confused me. Like people who just like aren't athletic at all, they just like can't throw a ball or anything. It's just it confuses me. But you could do all that type of stuff. So you're pretty good at at uh, doing that type of things. Um, How about so talking to people? You're not big into talking to people. No, I don't want to talk to anybody unless I have to. <laughs> <laughs> so communication. How good is your communication skills? Like a two out of ten. It's not good. It's not good. How about how about your passion to do something if it, if you're interested in it? So if it's like a fun assignment, are you gonna grind it out? Probably, I'll actually put some effort in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I mean, if it, if it's something you're interested in, your passion is a good trait that you'll you'll grind it out, you'll get it done. Yeah. Do you get the majority of your assignments done on time? Or do you... oh, I do, but yeah, I usually do. Yeah. Okay, so your time management's not terrible because I know a lot of people in the grade who are just like terrible with their they time. They don't do anything. Yeah, they literally don't get anything done, and that could affect them in sports, as you said earlier. So you're pretty, I guess your time management isn't awful. Yeah. Do you, oh man, I don't even, like what, I already asked what you're looking forward to. I think we pretty much asked about everything, honestly. Do you have, mm. you got anything to say? What I do you think? Well, here, we'll go back to you being an OG. <laughs> okay, See, you can ask me questions this kid, too, I bet I can get this something. This kid thinks he's OG, all right? So OG, original, he's your favorite console, your favorite gaming console of all time. PS4. That's just something not no G kid would okay, say. Okay, Xbox 360. Nope, nope, nope. You already your answer's already out there. PS4. That's what that's what a 2006 kid would say, not what a 2002. Oh, okay. I Xbox think the best console player. of all time. I think Xbox the top. I think the top player. three are going to be the Wii, the uh, Xbox 360, obviously. Yeah. And the PS4. Those are probably like my top three favorite of all Later, time. Our other, our other brother, our other brother had a PS3 and he had a PS. Or the PS3 was awful. I hated the PS3. The so controllers. Much. Were yeah, they were disgusting. <laughs> How, what's your favorite controller? The Xbox 360 or the PS4? I would assume. Which, I, don't know, which one's I don't know. They're both fine, I guess. I like the PS4 because they're actually even with their thumbs. Yeah, true. That is kind of weird how those are designed. They, they, did they ever fix the Xbox? No, they never did. They're still off center. No, they fixed it. Oh, no, no they did. Yeah, look, it's still off center. <laughs> they never did fix the Xbox controller, did they? That's it's honestly bad. That's honestly not that annoying, though. That's weird. It's actually a huge difference in controllers. But, like, holding them, you don't really notice the difference, so it's not that big of a deal, I guess. Yeah, true, true, but, I guess. You, this guy says he's OG. What was your What was your first big Call of Duty that you remember playing? Bo one and two. Yeah, that's Cap. Okay, I definitely remember <laughs> Bo two. You did not play Bo one, Schmidt. Uh, yeah, I remember playing the campaign. I know exactly how it starts. The Bo one campaign. Yeah, how that dude's in, like the truck and it's like on fire and you go in, like a big. That's Bo two. Well, that's Bo two. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I played Bo two, not Bo one. You're not OG because we used, our babysitter. Chelsea. Yeah, we used to go over to her house and we would just grind BO1, me and my older brother anyway. I don't know where and you I and... never know. <laughs> no, I remember me and her brother would play Minecraft and we made a little base and then we just quit oh, playing. Oh, so now you're OG at Minecraft, are you? Yeah, played on that. I don't know, you kids nowadays. Oh yeah, we're just bad. Mm -hmm. I'm like only four years younger than you. Yeah, that, that's a big difference too. Just... <laughs> you're not cultured. I'm really older than the Wii. Wow, <laughs> what a flex. <laughs> When did the week come out, Gibbs? November of night of two thousand six, and I was born in July of two thousand six. So, wait, November. So you're barely older than the Wii. But I'm still older. That's that's not a flex. Yeah, it is. That is not a flex at all. I'm sorry. Yeah, it is. <laughs> come on. Okay. Well, first of all, so if anyone is younger than the Wii, that's embarrassing. Yeah. So I'm not younger than. That the Wii. that really means that you're not OG. So obviously, 
Good work, G. At least at least you got that. Yeah, at least I'm older than the Wii. Mm-hmm. Well, how about my? But remember that. If we go back to sports here. That six foot guy. He's like the youngest person in the entire grade. He's, he's still thirteen. And he's younger than the Wii. Yeah. Dang, and he's, and he's, and he's the biggest. I said that's how junior high is. You never know who's gonna be he's huge. He's just huge. Mm-hmm. Let's see. What else? What else should we talk about, Big G? What do you think? I don't know. I think we got. We can talk about some more things if you want. You got anything? I can't think of anything right now. We kind of went over everything. We got your goals. We got what you're gonna do. You're gonna be what was it? Something with computers, computers or something? Computers, science, design, computers, science, energy. I don't know. Who do you look? Who do you look up to? Who are you, who are your? Who do you look up to in designing your whatever? <laughs> Linus Tech Tips on YouTube. Tech Tips on YouTube. How about Tech Rex? Linus Tech Tips. How about old Tech Rex, the guy who just destroys oh, iPhones? <laughs> I just, he's still uploading. I think he does. I mean, he was fun to watch as a kid. Yeah, definitely. His videos were entertaining. I don't know if he still uploads. Yeah, I think he does. What, what does tech tips do or whatever? Does he tell you about he computers? He builds computers. Mm-hmm. Works some juicy computers. So are you going to, like, just build computer parts, sell computer parts, or... I don't know. Like an off-brand Best Buy? Yeah, probably. Off-brand Best Buy. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> You're going to be, like, the IT guy or whatever, like a school or something, to go fix all the computers? Yeah, like, I actually haven't been off my job. Just sit in your office with your, like, three monitors. you got the vertical one, the two side ones. you got the Spotify. <laughs> like a streamer. <laughs> Spotify going. <laughs> Stream during school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah dude. That would be dope help. if you, if, the, if your IT guy was a streamer during school. That'd be lit. I feel like you'd have other things to do, but it could be possible. You never know. you got to help fix the computers. Yeah, for sure. I could, all right, I could see you do something like that because you're... You know, it doesn't require a whole lot of communicating with people, I guess. Not a whole lot if you want to stay I away from that. Walk into your, uh, room well, yeah, you're going to have to talk with people every now and then at least. But Fix this. Like, meh. Yeah, it's not like being like a speaker or something. Would you? How would you? Would, no, how... I am not being a public speaker. <laughs> not a champ. Do you like speeches during class? Like, Yeah, if I'm not presenting. Have you, <laughs> well, because you don't have to do anything. You can just yeah, sit there I just watch. sit there and listen. Or I don't even listen. Have you ever had to give a speech? Yeah. Do you remember what it was on? No. I actually don't, but I feel like it was just me reading my uh, paper. Yeah, that, that, that's a weak speech. you got to come up with it off the top of your head. Yeah, true. Like, kind of like a debate. Did, like, how nervous do you get for presentations? Very, because I'm going to say something wrong. Or, like, Everyone's going to be like, <laughs> <laughs> Like those TikToks where you stutter at the top of the class and your homies the in the back it. just starts laughing at you. Then I start laughing and it's just... Oh, I mean, it is a very possible outcome. With, with school. Yeah, I'm just, very... I just I didn't present a post like I think I said a while ago. Yeah. And my friend just started laughing. So I'm like, okay, I put enough for that. Get up here and hold this poster with me. <laughs> yeah, so then he's not me. laughing. So then he looks like the idiot. And then the teacher's just concentrated. Everyone else is yeah, laughing. She like... <laughs> yeah, she's just sitting there. True. The thing is with presentations in high school is that no one cares and everyone's going to forget about it like, right after you present it. So you I don't, don't really have to be worried about it. I don't know why should they just do it. No one even pays attention. Mm -hmm. Reflection papers. Honestly, at the end of the day, all your school works going to be pretty stupid. Like right now, I want to be a graphic designer and I'm learning some calculus stuff. Like That's just a waste of my time. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Literally don't even need the class. Like, like why is a waste of my time? <laughs> Yeah, but I guess in junior high you don't get options. Yeah, true. So. But at my age, I chose to pick calculus, and it's just the dumbest Why class ever. Why did you choose that? I don't know. But I think you had to for college, didn't you? For no, I don't even need. I don't even need like a math. I, don't think. <laughs> I do. I do it for fun, Gibbs. I do it for fun. Oh, Honestly, yeah. math can be kind of fun if you understand it. But yeah. So there's that. Let's see, is there anything else? Is there anything you want to say to your future self, who's going to be guaranteed listening to this eventually? It might be four years. It might be two years. It might be a week. Don't You're... give up on the YouTube channel. You want to be a YouTuber now? No, I'm saying, yeah. Haven't right. you already given up on the YouTube channel, like, right now? You no, even... I just don't know what to upload. Like, I just can't come up with any ideas. Well, I mean, what type do you want to do? Games, or, like, what? Yeah, probably, probably. Well, I still you... have that Elgato. I still have many videos yet. <laughs> still, he still has the Elgato game in that video. I hasn't made any videos yet. Yeah, I have streamed, though, a little bit. Yeah, like, twice. Yeah, I haven't been using the Elgato. I just did mm -hmm. stream labs. Well, there we go. I mean, that's progress a little bit. Yeah, I couldn't really figure but it you out. Don't, you don't have anything else to you say to yourself? Do you want to say what's up? How you doing? Hopefully, you, how much do you want to be lifting? How much do you want to be benching by the time you're a senior? <laughs> I don't know. How much do you lift? <laughs> Dang. Don't need to roast me like that. Probably. Like none. I don't know. Like none. You don't work out that much. I mean, gotta, I wouldn't either. So. You got to be benching at least 135. That's the average for a man. So you gotta, at what age? I don't know, just the average man. You gotta be benching 135 pounds. Is that like least. half your weight you should be benching? I don't know. It's more than that. It's something like that. But no know. really goals for yourself? Nothing else to say? No. This is it. Remember, just one hour is all you're gonna get. This is your time machine right now, Gibbs. Has it already been an hour? About. It went kind of quick, honestly. He just chilled. We walked in here impromptu. It was just an absolute disaster. Didn't really know what we talked about, but it wasn't terrible. It, it, it smooth. It 
flew. It flowed pretty we, smoothly. Yeah, we went along. All right, I'm gonna ask you questions now. Oh, <laughs> yeah, BG, what's your question? Are you guys gonna again, uh, pursue YouTube as a career, or are I you mean, gonna give up? As a hobby, yes. It's I'm all saying it. as a career. Oh, okay, jeez. <laughs> well, right now I'm gonna pursue graphic design as a career, Big G. When I go to college. You gonna then... drop out? Okay. Well, if you, if YouTube would ever just be nice and monetize it. If YouTube blows up, no, would I drop out? Nice. It has to be. If YouTube's <laughs> nice, never monetize it. No, <laughs> I, I don't, don't know. know. I'll see. It's, it's still just gonna remain a hobby. I you don't had know. To click on your own ads. YouTube's a pretty scary like it's it's not very like trustworthy like one day your whole channel could get deleted or terminated so you don't really want to rely on it too much so it's nice to have a backup that plan so. happen. <laughs> yeah they could just remove you in two seconds gives well, you make one mistake you get junk. canceled it's on don't post junk well you can't really do it their rules are stupid so yeah, yeah gonna, it, so it, it's, it'll be a hobby forever i'm thinking you can't even say like anything on twitch anymore i would not trust twitch at all <laughs> mm-hmm yeah, it's... it's been like dogs and disrespect get banned or yeah, something. Yeah, the big corporations like are... everyone good. just got banned. They're a mess. Said something a little too mean to offend someone. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Do you, have any, do you have any other questions? Uh-uh. Is that it? Yeah, that's about the one question I had. <sighs> Nothing else? Nothing? No burning questions? No. How, how tall are you right now? I don't know. Not that tall. Like five, six, seven. He's five, seven. When you're listening, how tall are you going to get is the question. I don't know. Go tall I am. He's just chilling. Look at it. You could just tell it's Super Bowl Sunday. Look at that fit. Yeah, it is Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. One more question. Who do you got winning? Who do you guys got winning? No, who do you got winning? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Come do you on. Think, you think you I care, care about sports anymore? You gotta care. I'll go with, I'll go with whoever wins. I just want to oh, see. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm the bandwagon. <laughs> no, I, no, I want to see Tom Brady win another one. Because why not? Ooh, That'll what? be fun. Okay, he's just My bad, G. My bad. Is he washed up? Yeah, yeah. He's washed up. Anyways. So, yeah. yeah. We're just stalling it out, G. It was fun. Pretty much, yeah. Thanks for coming on, my boy. We'll have you back on in a year from now, and we'll see the difference. I'll oh. play. I'll play a clip, just just to say. One more question. What? Will there be any more vlogs with me in them? <laughs> he <laughs> loves being the main character. Yeah, remember because the two vlogs you've been in, you've just been like, oh, I'm carrying, I'm carrying the episode, I'm carrying the video. Not really a summer rewind one. Actually, that golf cart I did whip that thing around yeah, the corner. Yeah, you did. But that one that uh, beat my little brother. Yeah, you did that carry was that video. Lit. That was a lit vlog. Then then you, told, you told me what to do though, but you beat the crap out of that box. That is one thing you do like to destroy things. That's what you say. Apparently, I just destroy everything in the house. That is absolute facts. No, it's not. <laughs> you destroy everything. <laughs> But anyways, you literally spilt like water on the floor. Like I don't remember, remember this. But I spilt water on the oh, floor. Oh yeah, point out one thing I can do. I can name five things you've done. Uh, you lost my LED remote. <laughs> yeah, we'll find that. We'll find that. Don't oh worry. yeah, okay. You broke the basketball hoop. Broke uh, a couple it's monitors. It's literally fine. Broke a couple keyboards. Broke a couple I've consoles. I never broke a monitor. This kid breaks keyboard. everything. You need you, one thing you need to work on is learning how to how to uh, take care of things. That's something you got to improve. I know I that for sure. I literally had the same thing forever. Hey, I still got my PC. He still has this PC that he's had for like what, like five months? Not even. Seven, eight, nine. Has it been that long? That's crazy. Yeah. I got it at the beginning of October. <laughs> Did you? PC gaming. That's not even that. That's not seven months. But anyways, PC gaming <laughs> I, is the future, y'all. Yeah. Big G. It is, it is Any last words to the viewers or anybody? I don't know. I can't really tell you. I'll see you in the next one. When, when do you think we'll record our next one? Like a year from now or like two oh, years? Probably two years since you're out of college if you're Cause, still doing YouTube. Because it'll be interesting to see you come back and see how much you've changed and stuff. Because this is more an episode to see what yeah, you're thinking. Yeah, watch me be like 6'6", 245. Yeah, and huge. then you'll walk and you'll be like, yo, what up, everybody? Welcome back to the episode. <laughs> Just it might happen. the two clips. Yeah. That'd be lit. I'll play it and you'll just laugh and chuckle. But yeah. <laughs> now, yeah there we go. Now we've got the podcast to look back on. Thank you all so much for listening. Big G, thanks for coming on. It's been a pleasure. We'll talk to you another year. Have a great rest of your night, everybody. Peace out. And uh, as always, we'll see you guys next week on Monday, I think, for the next episode. Big G, give me some dap. End it. Thank you, my boy. God, that was so white. Dang it. Anyways, see you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you. Thank you. See y'all. Yeah, see you, G.